These mothers weigh their babies every week and every week the queue gets longer. Gondwani's name means happiness, but in his short life so far he's seen little of that. He's in the red, severely underweight. He's been sick for a few months because there's not enough food. I'm too weak to farm now in these difficult conditions. I survive by begging. Malawi's been hit by two disasters. Drought and flooding has slashed 40% from the maize harvest. The government says 8 million people don't have enough to eat. This is part of the UN screening program. They are not healthy. They are more prone to die because their immunity actually goes down. So when you look at the child, they are very sick. And the situation is very precarious because a sick child who is malnourished, they are also likely to have other infections. Food shortages are driving up prices. Maize costs a third more now than it did before Christmas, but Malawi isn't a priority for international donors. Less than a quarter of the money asked for by southern African governments has been pledged. Part of the program here is a talk on what good nutrition and a balanced diet is. It's good information to have, but the reality for many of these women is there isn't a choice about what they feed their children. There simply isn't enough to go round. The idea of deciding between meat and vegetables makes them laugh. <laughs> Only the strongest will survive. We have no food, that's why we are here. The food they give for the baby we share at home, even though we are not supposed to. And sometimes we sell the baby food to buy maize. Nine countries in southern Africa have declared states of disaster or emergency. A humanitarian crisis may unfold slowly if these warning signs are ignored. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Chikwawa, Malawi.